All right, so now that we have these properties of dot product, now that we have proven them um, right here, so what we'll do next is we'll use them to actually do example 1.2.4. All right, so in that example, let me write what we have. Assume that V has length six, W has length five, and V dot W is minus five. Excellent. So that's what we have. Now we want to expand this so that we can use what we're given. So I'm going to write six V plus w dot 2v minus 5w here, and I'm going to expand. So I'll use um, the distributivity property. I'm going to use it slowly. So I'm going to take one vector. Oh, sorry. I meant this. I'm going to take this as one vector, and I'll distribute it on both sides. So I'll get 6v plus w dot 2v and I'll get 6v plus w dot minus 5w. Now I'm going to expand again. So this is property 2. I'm going to use it again. I'm going to expand the other way. So I'm going to multiply the right vector inside the left sum. I will get um, 6v dot 2v plus w dot 2v plus 6v dot minus 5w plus w times 5w. In that last line, there is a mistake. There is a notation mistake. Let me fix it in red. Here in the last term, I have W times. That doesn't make sense. I don't know what it means. I need to know which product I'm using. In this case, we've been talking about the dot product, so I need a dot every time. All right, so it's W dot product with minus 5W. Now I will use property 3. That tells me that if I have a constant, either with u or with v, I can pull it out. I'm going to pull all the constants at once. So that will be property 3. I'll get 12 um, v dot v. It's tempting to use v squared, but again, we will see other products of vectors as well. So v squared is not clear which product you mean. All right, now on this term and on this term, I'm going to use property 4. So I'll get 12 length of v squared. And here I'll get minus 5 length of w squared. Now in those middle two terms, so that was this one, in the middle two terms, well, just this one, I'm going to switch them by using property 1 that tells me that the dot product is commutative. So I can switch w dot v and write v dot w, and here I'll write v dot w again. Now you could simplify the two terms and write minus 28 times v dot w. Um, I won't do it. It's right either way. So I'll just replace by what we're given. Length of v is 6. Um, this is minus 5. That's minus 5. And this is 5 squared. So I need to compute this. Um, I've done it already. I got 447. So 12 times 36, 2 times minus 5, minus 30 times minus 5. Yep. So I got 447. 
All right, so let me say this is the second time I filmed this because last time I got 260. So if you watch the next video, I'll show you this example again. It's going to look very close, but you'll see 260 at the end. That was my mistake. I apologize.